good spot up ahead. Wide enough for me to pull over for a second. Do you think anyone's going to come up behind us? I don't see anybody behind us. Okay. Hey everyone, we are in Camp Verde, Camp Verde, Arizona for a couple of days. We just pulled into our spot and uh, where we are is, well, other than Camp Verde, if you go on Google Maps and type in West Clear Creek or the bullpen, you'll find out where we're on uh, Forest Road 618 is out this way. And we just came in and you cut off. This is the uh, cutoff that goes into the bullpen. Yeah, tomorrow we'll go do some hiking into the West Clear Creek. Look for the swimming hole tomorrow. But uh, we like it here. We've been here before. I think I did a video about six months ago on West Clear Creek. But uh, we're going to get a few different shots this time. And uh, try to see if we can find the swimming hole first thing. This last time we tried to find a swimming hole, we got lost on the way. But it's right through those mountains over there. And uh, it looks like we might get a thunderstorm. This is a nice little spot. This is not a big enough spot that we're in for two. Well, you could probably get two in here. Take a look up there. You could probably. There's more room back there, right? So yeah, you could probably get two rigs in here. BJ and Billy, you can get your rig right in here. We could probably pull back a little farther. I'll show you. This is a nice, the, the turn in is a little sharp, but not too bad. You can kind of see in there. You could either go up and then back in, or if you, got a, if you can turn sharp enough right there. I made it, but I'm only 25 feet. If you're 35 feet that might be a little different but yeah there's more room back here oh yeah yeah we could pull in here we got room we could pull up a little farther if you were really careful about it you could probably get a couple of rigs back in here there's even a fire pit here look at this Oh, eggshells. There's a little fire pit. I didn't bring the firewood, darn it. Dang, I should have brought the firewood. I still had firewood left over from uh, Rose Canyon Lake. Oh, the breeze feels good. Well, it looks like it even goes back a little farther that way. I don't remember it going that far back.
No, we were in this spot. I'm pretty sure of it. It's about 82 right now, and we're about 3,500 feet. And this is one of those, like the middle zone. I guess you could call this the middle zone. This is great camping for spring, great camping for fall. When the temperatures are just right in that middle zone. Like when it's 90 in Phoenix, it'll be 75 up here. 75, 80. Oh yeah. I think there's some people over and there's another camp spot right over there. And I see somebody parked over there. So see, see how far we are? But if you, you were really careful, you could probably squeeze a couple people back in here. It's just a little bit kind of snake your way through here. It's nice and level back here though. Lots of lots of little spots to if you can get through this area up here. I'll do a pin drop on the video so you can see where we're at here. This is a nice spot. We've been in this spot before. It's a little rough getting through right here though. You could do it if you didn't mind a few bumps. Yeah. And watch out for the cactus. Woo. But this spot is a definite duty. We could definitely come in here. Yeah, we could even like back in here and open up the awning over over the, by the fire place here, the fire pit. What's that? It has eyes. Oh yeah. Big ants. Big ants. Lots of interesting rocks, though, huh? All right. We almost didn't make it up today. Every time we go somewhere, the first thing I do is get in the motorhome and I get my phone out, pull up Google Maps, and then I put a, a pin drop in where we're going to go just to see, you know, how the traffic looks and everything. And I got on there and there was an accident on I-17. Not just an accident, but it was shut down, period. I guess there was somebody, what was it? Wrong way, a wrong way driver, that's what it was. Somebody at around Table Mesa Road, somewhere between Black Canyon City and Table Mesa Road, somebody got on the freeway going the wrong way and hit three cars. There was, a fat, there was two fatalities and we don't know yet which car had the fatalities and whatnot and whether the driver of the wrong way vehicle was uh, what are they, under the influence. Uh, there's a term for it, but uh, you know what I mean. At four o'clock in the morning, drinking at four o'clock in the morning, I don't know. Jeez. Ah. So always check your, where you're gonna go before you leave the house. Right. So tomorrow we're gonna do some hiking, and today we're just kind of hanging out here. Might take a little ride down there. Check it out. The bullpen. I don't know why they call it the bullpen because some maps you can't even find that now. But some maps will say the bullpen. And some maps just say uh, Bloggett Creek hiking area. And then there's West Clear Creek. So Anyway, when I get home I'll bring it all up on there and show you. Nice though. Like I said, this is the mid mid zone time kind of year 3500 feet but it's supposed to get down to 55 57 tonight and 82 83 during the daytime so that's not bad i mean we had that up at, in the summertime in the mountains so but man there's a nice looking thunderstorm over there 
and it's look like it looks like it's coming this way so we might get some rain too all right anybody come in Nice as the one we got, I don't think, but it's okay. It could do. Like you could back in, you could kind of back in here, maybe, or come forward, yeah? right up in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's doable. Mm -hmm. I think somebody was in here the last time we were here. Uh, like what, three years ago now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was. Two and a half, three years ago. Right. Hitch, this is perfect for us. Right. Back in there. Mm -hmm. I think we looked at this before and thought the entry was a little too much for us. I don't think so. Pulling the car, a uh, razor trailer. Flood, they were in a sucky place. Yeah. That's true. Not uh -huh. for the motorhome, huh? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could do it in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of those rocks are pretty sharp. With these big tires? Yeah, uh, probably be okay. If you really want to, you can do it on the way back. Unless there's a better way in there. Or just remember, we're not in a group.
huge. Look, all the way back there. That's yeah. huge. in here and carefully you could get quite a few rigs in here if you just kind of said okay here you go here you go here you go there you go here <laughs> God, what a beautiful sky I think getting out of here might be a little rough bump right there is that good did you want to go farther no nope, that's good okay I don't think there's any more spots past it back in if you're coming this way. You could yeah. just back into that spot. I don't know how big. It's not really that big. but Big enough for us. Or a van by itself. It's Somebody's like, been there. Somebody's been here before, yeah. And you're not in the riverbed. Uh-uh. This is nice. What, big enough for one, one camper. One van. Right. Maybe a trailer. Right. Somebody behind you. In me. It's the second bing because you didn't answer the first one. It's all, it'll be done. Oh, missed call. enjoying the beautiful sunset tonight from Camp Verde, Arizona. There's our little spot over there. And right now the sun is just about to go down right behind me here. Beautiful. those are called. 
just beautiful though. There it goes. Just creeping down behind the mountain right now. It's nice. There she goes.